Okay, good evening. Welcome to Math 1081. Math 1081. So we just looked at uh, a really interesting video that Nassim Taleb did about um, making estimates or talking about estimates when you have fat-tailed distributions. Now, this is a this is a pretty advanced topic, but do you know? I've shared some examples in the past about what thin tails and fat tails are. So, do you know what a, an example of a fat-tailed distribution is? Um, like wealth. Well, that's right. And what does it mean that it's fat-tailed? It doesn't go to zero very fast. It sort of extends out and doesn't reach zero. Okay, yeah. So you'll find with wealth, um, you'll find people who have a million dollars. You'll find people who have ten million dollars. You'll find people who have um, fifty billion dollars. So the probability of having um, a super large amount of wealth goes down, but it doesn't go to zero very quickly. What's what's uh, something we could contrast with that, where the probability of being way far away from the mean or the average or you know, the median goes to zero quickly? Height. Height. Okay. So, so if the average, let's just make numbers really simple. Let's say the average person is six feet tall, which is more tall than they really are. Mm -hmm. Unlike wealth, where we find very, very, very f people very far away from that, we don't find people who are ten feet tall, and we certainly yeah. don't find people who are a million feet tall. Yeah. So okay. that's that's the kind of thing he's talking about. But the in the interesting uh, thing that he's saying is it's hard to talk about averages with these fatter tail distributions. And mm -hmm. one of the things he was pointing out is that the average is under when you do samples, you're often and almost always underneath the mean. And that's what I want to show you. So here, we don't have to worry about what this Pareto distribution means for now, but here I have a very straightforward, simple Pareto distribution with the parameter value equal to two. And when I run, when I pick 30 numbers from it, looks like I may have zoomed out more than I, zoomed in more than I should have. When I run 30 numbers from it, I get the mean of 2.29, and the true mean is actually 2. Okay. 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 So if I do it again, now I get a mean of 1.6 from my sample, All right. and the true mean is 2. So I am kind of bouncing around a little bit here, uh, maybe more than I might expect, but I'm not tremendously far away yeah. mm -hmm. from it. So what do you think I should do to try to get closer? If you increase the number of numbers you pick. Okay, yeah. so how many would you like to pick? Um, maybe a thousand. And you get oh, wow. very okay. close. Yeah, let's see what happens when I pick a thousand. So you're pretty close. You're not yeah. as close as I thought you would be, but you're, okay. you're still pretty close. Yeah, it's interesting. So with a thousand numbers for this distribution, uh, I do seem to be getting pretty near to two. And you can see what the scene was saying with this distribution, it's falling off. The mean is here at two, like he said, but a large number of the samples are below the mean. Yeah. Right, do you see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna have a second program down below here where we'll do, we'll do a thousand trials, or sorry, we'll do a hundred trials. We'll do alpha equals two, and we'll do. Were we doing a thousand before? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see what our means, how they vary. Okay, so you can see actually that our guess of what the mean was was uh, about right. Yeah. Okay. What is this? Fifty-one. Yeah, uh, it's um. Fifty-one is how often our sample mean out of our how many trials did we do here? A hundred. A hundred. A hundred trials. How many times we were above two? Okay, okay. Which is our true All mean. Right. I guess so that's, that's kind of about half. Half should be above, half should be below. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. So this alpha equals two is a pretty well-behaved one. Yeah. But Nassim was mentioning pandemics are more like alpha equals 1.03. So we'll look at that. Okay in the next two videos.